Yeah, so Alina Health Systems is a large uh, hospital system here in the Twin Cities. And they developed an aromatherapy program um, and did some significant research in 2012. And what they did is they had a, it's called a transformational nurse uh, nursing program where many nurses were getting involved in the healing therapies and aromatherapy was one of them that they were trained in. And so they, uh, two women from Alina developed a aromatherapy program for Alina and within that program they did a research project with this and what they did was they had over 20,000 nurse-led aromatherapy interventions. Their target, their therapeutic goals were for anxiety and stress, pain, and for nausea. And so what they did was they chose uh, four essential oils that met those therapeutic goals. And you know, that's one of the things about essential oils is they do a lot of things <laughs> simultaneously. They chose mandarin, lavender, marjoram, and ginger. And so they documented um, by uh, these 20,000 nurse-led interventions. So they, they provided the treatment, they um, put them on a zero to 10 scale pre and post aromatherapy treatment to measure the outcomes. And what they found was, um, I think it surprised them as well. So nausea, 50% decrease. Pain was 32% decrease and anxiety was 38% decrease. That's pretty huge. Um, so again, that was somebody who was reporting with great anxiety, you know, maybe they scaled them at an eight and it averaged out to about a two point reduction down that zero to 10 pain scale. So this was a fantastic uh, research paper and, and it's also from a magnet status hospital. And so this really is leading the way for a lot of other hospitals to look at that research. Of course, many of them would like to do, you know, and, and are doing their own research as well. And it provided a really great starting point for, um, you know, just kind of like, okay, there is something legitimate here. Let's look at this, especially as the need for non-pharmacological interventions are so, you know, that that's something that has to change mm -hmm. and everybody is, is, um, is asked to change that. So aromatherapy gave them a big in here. That's awesome. How how did they administer the oil to oh, the yeah. patients? Oh yeah, right. They're, they had two methodologies, and one was to use a simple what we call uh, an aroma stick or an inhaler, similar to the little white tubes that we're mm. probably used to, like an old Vicks inhaler. Um, and so the aromatherapy would be on a cotton wick inside the inhaler, and the patient was you know to, used it and directed to just breathe normally with it for two to three minutes. And then the other way is it with a very low concentration, it's about a 2% concentration of topically applied essential oils in a carrier oil. And I know that they use fractionated coconut like I do, so it's just 2% essential oil. So they could either have it applied topically or use the inhaler. And that's how they got those results was for that research poster, they were just using those two methods of delivery. Mm -hmm. That's that's easy to do. You can bring that with you wherever you go. So yes. that's something that someone can definitely use even afterward. Exactly. Being able to go home with that uh, portable inhaler was mm -hmm. nice as well. Mm -hmm. Did they have any concerns come out of the study? One of the, the I think also a surprise to them was out of those 20,000 documented interventions, there was not one single adverse effect reported. Um, the big concerns are always in a hospital setting is overwhelming smell for other people, um, allergies and asthma, and, and you know, in an acute care setting, you absolutely have to control that. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that's another reason why they went to the aromatherapy patch, because like an inhaler, it's very individualized. That person isn't reeking of essential oils and then the person next to them finds that uh, not tolerable. So great care has to be taken, you know, in just kind of keeping it individualized. So those are really always the concerns, but the program developers were 
you know, very well trained in essential oils and um, addressed all of the scent policies at the hospital that had to be addressed. It was a huge project to move it through a system like that who hadn't explored this before. Mm -hmm. And from the quality side of things to, um, to just overall safety, there was a lot to consider. But they did so great, and of course they've continued to, and now we're over, I think that they're close to over 70,000 aromatherapy applications between their sites, and, and now they've brought in the patches, and so it's just expanding, and we see it growing really fast. That's great. Yeah, they're That's really great. happy with the patch as well, because it makes it so simple for everybody.